Hi, Mandy from Designs by Miss Mandy here, and I'm going to show you how to turn your drawings into vector art. So why is this useful? So right now I have an image file. I created these just with pen and paper, just drawing freehand, and scanned them into my computer. And so right now these are an image file, and so if I expanded them really, really large, eventually it'd look really grainy and pixely, which is no good. So, but when you turn this to vector, you can expand it as large as you want and those little grains and pixels won't happen. So let's see how to do that. So over here in my layers panel, you can see I've made a couple duplicates of this image. I'm just going to hide the back one for now. Um, I just like to do that because if the trace doesn't end up happening like I want it to, I like to have an extra copy on hand to start over. So what we're going to do is go up to Window and you're going to find Image Trace. Now keep in mind, I'm working in um, Illustrator Creative Cloud. If you have an older version of Illustrator, um, the Image Trace box uh, will be a little bit different, but does much the same thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to simply hit Preview and with this selected. And it might take a little while depending on how large your image is. And there you go, you see that it has outlined your drawing and turned it into vector. Now, you can change the threshold. That's the one really main thing that you're going to be working with here to increase it. If you bring this arrow up, you're going to see the lines get thicker and darker. If you bring it down, they're going to get thinner and your small pieces might disappear. So it depends on what you want. 128 is usually the default and for the most part I think does a good job and for this project I think it looks nice. So that's what we're going to stick with. The other thing I'm going to do for now is I'm going to click ignore white and I'm going to move this over here so you can see what happens. So right now this image has been turned black and white because I'm in black and white mode. If you have a color image you can do color and grayscale the same thing. When you click ignore white, the background disappears. And so I'm just left with my black outlines, just my pen marks. So this is great now. We have our vector images that are infinitely scalable. But they're all grouped together still. And I can't change the colors. So there's one more thing I'm going to do. I'm going to go up to Object, Image Trace, and hit Expand. And when I do that, you can see that it's given little points all around my images. And so that makes it that now when I select it and add a color, it'll change. And I don't just have to have black lines anymore. Now, right now these are all still grouped together and I want them to be separate. I just want to edit this frame. So I'm going to take my, my white arrow selection tool, drag and select this whole frame, and I'm just going to hit copy, command C, and then paste, command V. And when I did that, you see it makes all the little pieces come apart and they're all separate. I don't want to leave any of these pieces behind as I'm working with it, so I'm going to group them. And you can do that by going to Object, Group, or just hitting Command G. And now when I work with this frame, I can edit it separately and make it whatever color I'd like. Same thing goes for these ones. Select the group that you want to work with. Copy, Command C, Paste, Command V, and then Group, Command G. You can scale them as much as you'd like. Rotate them if they're a little crooked, which mine always are. And then make them whatever color suits your fancy. There you go. 
Hope this tutorial was helpful for you and you make a lot of fun drawings and turn them into beautiful vector art.